Psalm 119 verse 105 says that your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Hallelujah. Now that your heart is prepared to receive the word, I tell you something. You know, today's program is dedicated to fathers. As I said in the beginning, it is Father's Day. Actually, today is not Father's Day. Very good. But today's program has been dedicated to our fathers. Therefore, the person who is bringing us the word of God today is no other person than a man who has been blessed. A man who has been blessed. A man who has been blessed. A man that God has ordained him. This man is no other person than the president himself. He's a president. Therefore, I welcome the president of men's ministry to give us the way. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, yeah, 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 Tell God to prepare your heart. And the word that is coming today. It will be a prophet home for you and your family. Pray a small prayer. Just a small prayer. Prepare your heart. Just prepare your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My Lord, this afternoon, we are grateful. This afternoon, we thank you for what you have brought us. From the beginning, you were there. Your name is not be changed. 
from yesterday and today. Father, this is the time. This is our. This is the time you are chosen. It's about to hear your word. Father, my prayer this afternoon, you have to prepare every heart here. Take every problem aside. Take every negativity thinking aside. And let your spirit and your power empower them. Father, I'm your servant. I'm an empty vessel. I need your power. I need your Holy Ghost baptism right now to baptize me. And take my knowledge aside. Amen. And Father, speak to me Amen. as never before. Amen. Father, speak to me Amen. as never before. Amen. And at the end of this program, your people are going to enjoy it. And your people are going to testify the power of your word. I thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. 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 Everybody can sit there, please. First of all, I give thanks to most high God. It's not easy. And you are coming to do a program. You face many challenges in life. You face challenges in physical and spiritual things. God of our side. So we thank Almighty God. To come and take his seat. And we give thanks to our papa. Papa gave us that chance for a man to celebrate our day. No man's day is last Thursday pass away. But as a Christian, you have to celebrate today as a man's day. So we thank Deacon all. We thank Mama in the house. We thank Deaconess. We thank all the church leaders. We thank all the church members. We thank the children ministry. I think today we are going, everybody going to support us. Men! Action! Action! Hallelujah. Amen. Today is action day. I will not take you much time. Our team for the topic is Teach me your way. Hallelujah. Amen. We take our verse from Psalm 86. Verse 11 to 12. Eleven. Um. Teach me your way, O Lord. I will walk in your truth. Unite my heart to hear your name. Amen. 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 We all know that David was a man who is in a desert. And that was in desert. God brought David and he became as a king in Israel. Because the favor God gives to David Everywhere David will stand. He has to praise God. He has to magnify God. Because it's, it's, it's beyond his understanding. 
Because David was not deserved to be a king in Israel. But favor came upon him. And he became a king. After David became a king, David did take his own life. He took God aside. He forgot God what God did for him. Now he started to practice sin in the world. So he came to visit some 86. Teach me your ways, O oh Lord. That I may live according to your truth. As a man, we are celebrating today. Before you are in Ghana. Some people are in Nigeria. Some people are in Kenya. Some people are struggling to come into Europe. Some people go to every prayer tower. Everybody, and then he said, When oh God will help me to come to Europe, I will worship you. I will give all my everything unto you. But you forgot. When you reach Europe and everything is successful in your life, you get your people. You get your job all right. You have your car. You say, God, who are? Now you take your own steps. You do whatever you like in life. So it happened on David. When you read Second Samuel chapter two, verse Second Samuel chapter eleven, verse two to six, they can please eleven, two to six. Yeah. I read. Then it happened one evening that David arose from his bed. Wait. It happened once in the night. David David rose on his bed. On the roof of the king's house. On the roof. You know, all the kings, maybe always they have the special place to hide because they fear. Sometimes they say the uh, land for people unnecessary so always they hide themselves uh -huh. because when they hide at the top so if somebody is come you will see that person and the order hey, if somebody is coming then walk that person out uh, and you know uh, and from the roof, he saw a woman bathing. Wait. He said, from the roof, he saw a woman bathing. And David was sharing the woman was very beautiful to behold. Oh. He said, the woman is very, very beautiful to behold. It's how bad we are. When we see a beautiful woman, uh, Always. We, have, we can look but very careful. But David looked at that woman. She is very beautiful. So David sent and inquired about the woman, and someone said, Is this not Bathsheba, the daughter of Priam, the wife of Uriah the Hittite? He started to make investigation if the woman is free. <laughs> so if he's free, he can go there and maybe take her. David but he found so investigation. He saw that the woman is uh, a marriage woman of uh, Uriah. David David then David sent messengers and took her, and she came to him, and he lay with her, for she was cleansed from the uh, impurity. Amen. 
Vicky, okay. can sit down. He just yes. called the woman and slept with the woman. And the woman died. Hallelujah. Amen. See how they did. He slept the woman and he gave birth to the woman. At the end of the day, he called the Uriah. Said, Go and sleep with the, your wife. Or you go down. And the Uriah said, No, I cannot sleep with that without my wife. And then David said, Okay, I will send Uriah to a battlefield, the hard battlefield, so that Uriah will be killed. And if David born three mupo said, or did a yes, Uriah, no and so my brother and sister today what are you teaching our children what are you going to teach our wives because david committed adultery david and he killed somebody too and also come will become we came from Ghana all right who free Ghana and buy we worship God all right you came and enjoy a group and now don't want to buy a group now you forgot God where is the man where is the man they are staying at home when you read Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 God said, I, let me make man all man as my own image. Hallelujah. God created man as his whole image. Where is man? Man now. We are a woman. We are a woman in Europe. We forgot what the uh, Bible has written. Because man is the head of the family. But now, we are sharing our dignity, our our power to our woman. Why? Because we are not following what God is written in his Bible. Why we are going to train our children? When you read Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6, it says, Put on the ball for me, please. Yeah, I put on the ball for you. Say you are checked onto the right path. When, when they are older, they will not leave it. We are training our children. Some, some children are staying at home. When, the, when the father and mother are coming to church, they leave their children at home. So what training we are giving to our children? So when our children grow, what they are going to profit? Now you see them in Europe, all the children. Now some they go to Bahamas. You see them, they make it with the woman. They enjoy their life. Because we are not, they are not get good foundation from beginning. Because we are not trained them. And they have to realize that all things, everything he did, he needs God to teach him. David, without God, you cannot do anything. You cannot go put, put God aside and make your life now more blessed. Because only God is impossible for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Why are you? Are you changing your child? The way we talk at home. The way we lie to people on telephone. Our children are gathered here. 
Whatever we are we are talking at home, whatever we are doing, our children is imitating it day and night, every day, every day. When you slap every day your wife like a, a band, you slap her, you slap her, you slap her. Your child is going to grow, and you're going to slap another woman. Hallelujah. Why we are, you train your child in Bangos? You train your child at home? Some, some parents are sitting here about their children at home. No, today, children, you don't go to church. Stay at home. So when you go home, when something happens, you go to, who are going to ask him? You going to blame God or you going to blame yourself? Because you, you, you need to be a uh, right sign of our, our God, our Maker. Again, you want to be right side on our Maker. But you are chosen to go on the left side. It's true because if you are chosen, come into church. Every day, Sunday school, mm. he will learn something. Yes. Every day, he will learn something. Every day, I'm telling you the truth. Yes. So that when I go home, I go home. I go home. You know, every Friday before, my wife and my children will come Friday prayers. They are punctual. They are punctual children in Sunday school. When you come, you meet them here. Yes. So you know, every day they will say, Papa, you know, you go church on Friday. I say, Yes, you go church on Friday. And Sunday we go church. And say, yes, you go church. But now you know. My wife's time is not good. You will not come Friday. One day, my wife said, we will go church. No, nah, no, I will not go church. Why will we go church Friday? Why? They are backsliding. Mm. Hallelujah. Yeah. They yeah. are backsliding from Friday because they are punctual. Mm. By the time my wife said, my time is not good, my time is not good, their children it's here. Mm. Go to the man that Friday, there is no church service. My God. So you are training our church, our children in what ways? We need, we need somebody to teach you in spiritual things. Hallelujah. Without spiritual things, you cannot grow. Men, we are the foundation of the church. What men we are doing for the Christ? We are sitting down, we are not moving forward. Men, men I'm, 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 I'm talking to three. If you don't take care, the woman will go to be ahead of this ministry. man will take you over. Because all the men we are sitting down, we are not pushing forward. man, today is a man day. Where is he? We are sitting home. Why they are they talking about it? Maybe they are talking about money. <laughs> Don't think about money. Hallelujah. Money, everything is belongs to God. Everything is belongs to God. So that thing, today is a best day. We are going to do fundraising. Ah. So I will not come to church. They promised me. On, they they promised me, promise me yesterday. Last week I'm taking money. They said, oh, Saturday. Saturday I was here. Nobody shame. Oh my God. Hallelujah. They don't come. Nobody's here. Oh. We are four people here. Oh. But we glorify God. We we preach and we pray. I said today I'm coming to collect my 10 euro. Where is the man? They are not come. They oh, fail me. Amen, man. Oh, man. They fail me. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. They fail me. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. Where is the man? So it's the same thing we are going to teach our children. Amen, and our children is going to follow that step. We need the spiritual thing to grow. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Take care. Please read Acts chapter 8, verse 26 to 31. Verse 26 to 31. Acts chapter 8, verse 26 to 31. An angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, saying, Arise and go toward the south. Go slow, slow for me. Please. Now an angel of the Lord spoke to Philip. Bible said an angel of the Lord spoke to Philip. Philip Say, Arise and go toward the south. Arise and go toward the south. Along the road which goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. Along the road who goes to Jerusalem to Gaza. Like a road from Hanover to Berlin. Hallelujah. Amen. I will say that a road from Hanover to Berlin. This okay. is desert. It's a desert road. I have no desert here. So he arose and went. Philip arose and went. Philip, sorry, no call. And behold, a man of Ethiopia. A man of Ethiopia. A man of great authority. That man is a great man of authority. Under, under Candace, the queen of Ethiopia. He's under Queen Ethiopia. Who has a charge of all the situation. He's in charge of all the money. The man came to Jerusalem to worship. 28. 28. He was returning and sitting in his chariot. He is returning back to the city of Gaza. He was reading Isaiah the prophet. He was reading why? Right. Then the spirit said to Philip. And the Philip, uh, the spirit said to Philip, Go near and overtake this chariot. Go near and overtake this chariot. So Philip ran to him. Philip ran to him. And heard him reading the prophet Isaiah. He's reading the prophet of Isaiah. And said, and said, Do you understand what you are reading? Do you understand what you are reading? He asked Philip to come out and sit with him. He asked Philip to come out and sit with him. 32. Mm -hmm. The place in the scripture which he read was this. Wait, listen. That's the scripture he's reading. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter. He was led as a sheep. sheep. And as a lamb before his shearer is silent. Hallelujah. Amen. So he caught not his mouth. He opened, he opened not his mouth. Tell it to it. Uh -huh. In his humiliation, his justice was taken away. He was talking about, he was reading the, uh, the book of Isaiah about the Jesus Christ. And no. that man, Philip, was not understand the scripture. You see, he's just reading the scripture and he was not understanding. Now, Enoch, no, or kind, or kind, uh, Isaiah, woman, but now on TRC. He needs somebody to translate, uh, interpret to him. Now, here will be your best children and they all can kind of see. Bible said, you are spirit and my spirit bear witness that we are the sons of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, Bible knows that uh, Jesus Christ sees that that man, Enoch, is looking for salvation. But the scripture is written, he don't understand it. So he needs somebody to uh, interpret it to him and understand it well. But Philip went there and interpreted to that man. And that man said, what is... Uh, no. I live. He lived there from the uh, uh, shadow and he go to water and the man was baptized by faith. Hallelujah. Amen. You are reading. You need somebody to teach you. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, in life, right, you need somebody to teach you in spiritual thing and physical thing. Don't joke. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't joke with the word of God. Amen. You need a spiritual background. Amen. Sometimes you read Bible, you think you understand it. You read it like, like a, a graphic. Hallelujah. Amen. You read like shh. <laughs> okay, you don't understand it. You don't understand it. So you don't know the power of the word. And then you don't know the power of the Holy Ghost. And you, don't, you don't know the power of the Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. If you know the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 
you will not joke. Hallelujah. May you no joke. We are joking here. Maybe we are joking here. Because you said, What are you doing for God? Hallelujah. You promise God when you come to Europe, you worship him where. Here, if you cannot worship God, no way you can worship God. Hallelujah. Because here everything is okay, everything is free. <laughs> So you, walk. Walk. you walk, you have your wife, ah. you have your children, you have your man, you have everything. What is not? What is not? Only thing always you praise God. You take your heart to worship God. And God wants to bless you. The the bless you is just more you. blessing. Mm. We need somebody to teach you. Because Enoch think he was okay. And say, na Ethiopian Enoch, no, no, if you said they all kind of. You think you are okay? You come to every day, Sunday, you go out, you are okay. Ah, if you say be You are not okay. We need somebody to guide you. We need somebody to teach you. We need somebody to direct you. Hallelujah. Amen. And the man flipped the let that man he interpreted the. Bible to him, and he said, "Now, take myself, go and baptize me." Hallelujah. Amen. Now, Philip, I go to church. Papa, no, I'm an empty. You know what kind of city? Now, if you are ten, you want to see you know catching and touch. Me the main point, I'm a rade. In the family corner, go bomb us. And she, I go bomb him. Go pray. Amen. It's like the same thing in the world. So you, you, or you want to become a footballer. So, oh yeah, it's football. not one day you can be a footballer. You start from infant. You come, you come, and you come top. But if you don't agree with your trainer, Amen. no matter what you are best ruler in the world, you put you aside. Hallelujah. Amen. So, he will not lead you to the place you want to go. So, yeah, football. You think you can be a footballer, you will stay home, you will not go training. There be there be there be won't be my football or be our GD or football, my brows or yeah, now they will not go training, you won't go training. Won't be more born. It's the principle in in football football. Yes. So if you don't go training, you don't play football. So one go training, I am our more born. It's the same as at the principle in the Bible. If you don't obey the scripture, so one day, God will not teach you the right path. To path to. Hey. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. You need somebody to teach you. You need somebody to teach you. Spiritually. And physically. To train your children. To how to train your wife and your children at home. Men, what, you are training your wife and your children at home in what ways? If you don't respect your wife, your children will not respect their mother. Because the children, they will take more from their father than their woman. Hallelujah. Amen. So if you don't respect your, your wife, your children will not respect your wife. So men, you have to change your behavior. You have to change your attitude. Because our woman is our own bone. Because the Bible says he takes our ribs and make a woman. Amen. Bible says we are not here on film party. Into yourself, we are treating you, and as we are treating you, Hallelujah. Sam, no, 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 no,
God bless you. I'm becoming dead. And we are giving me a powerful song. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are going to the B part. Ask uh, Psalm 86, verse 12. Verse 12. 86, verse 12. We are going to be 12. Real close. I have only 10 minutes. Hallelujah. Amen. Real close now. We are Bible says, I will praise you. Oh Lord, my God. With all my heart. With all my heart. With all my heart. With all my heart. And I will glorify your name forever and ever. Hallelujah. Are you glorifying God of your heart? Okay. Please read Jeremiah 32, verse 39. We use our yeah. mouth to praise God. Hmm. We use our mouth to just to praise God. Our inside. Yeah, they are not far from uh, 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 Jeremiah 30, 30, 2, 30, 2, 30, 30, 30. Verse 39 to 40. Sure. Then I will give them one heart and one way. Bible, Bible, Jeremiah is saying, yes. I will give them one heart. And one way. And one way. What one way? And a crop. And What way? What way? Go. That they may fear me forever. That may, they may fear me forever. Are you fear God? You fear human being, but you don't fear God. You fear pastor, you fear Jake, but you don't fear God. If you fear God, your heart will be changed. The thing in your heart, the thing in your heart, you can change it. Whoa, make a sound. I will never speak to you. Whoa, we are here. We are here. I will be so cranky. Even if you were a tree, I will never breathe from your. So you fear God? You come to church every Sunday, you go out and you come in, and you are saying that. It means you don't fear God. You fear Pastor. Oh, 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 Pastor. Praise God. Today's church was a very powerful. May God bless you. May God bless the king. May God pray church leaders. When you go there, you start blows. Today. It will be day. Day. Today, today, my today is a day for me. And I will not forgive you. I will not forget in my life. Channel. Are you fear God? Who's what are you using, using your heart for? My God. Fear God. Slow you have to fear God. I say, who's if you don't fear God, who's God who will not show his way unto you. But when you, you fear God, so God will show his way unto you. Everywhere you go, everywhere you step, if there is no door, God will show his way on you. And he will open door for you. And he will pass through in. And you will be a blessing. Hallelujah. We use our mouth to fear God. We use our mouth to fear God. If you fear God, if you fear God, everything will be okay for you. Your, your children education they will be in higher positions everyone your children will go they will not reject them everywhere you go any blessing that is on, for you God will give it to you because God knows that you fear him not the place you enter that you fear him God knows your heart before Fear God and use your heart to worship God. 
You face uh, life is many uh, challenges. Abraboi mu die many problems. Or how you encounter many problems. At a TV bring hold your heart. Hold your heart. And so so akuma mu. Hold your heart. So akuma mu. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9. Osha, somebody should open Hebrews chapter 3, verse 1, verse 13. I need you reading that, that I need you reading that Hebrews. They can go. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 1. The heart is deceitful above all things. The heart is deceitful about all things. And desperately weak. And desperately weak. Who can know it? Who can know it? Hallelujah. This a heart is desperately weak. Sometimes, if you're a bishop, sometimes your heart will deceive you. Sometimes your heart will go down. About take your heart. Take your heart. So akuma. Take your heart. So akuma waho. I say akuma waho. I ye nada sene adi ni na na I ye nsemone nsemone pa ara kwana obenya mu ahunuye akuma ahunuye akuma waho. Akuma waho. Ne bufua. I ye di ope. I ye nada sene adi ni na. Wakuma ubufua. When you are uh, angry, you can do whatever places you. But and when you are done, now what I say? And you recall what you did. Now then you realize that you have offended God. Now Then you regret your actions and you begin to cry unto God. God will forgive you one. First of all, God will forgive you. Two or the better. Secondly, yeah, He will forgive you. But the man sounds so good. So God will forgive you for the first time, the second time, but the third time. Hallelujah. 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 God will realize that you are just a pagan. So take your heart. You don't preach what you uh, you don't practice what you preach. So as my message is about, about to end. Read Psalm 37, verse 25. Hebrews chapter 3, verse 30. You go home, you read it. Psalm 37, verse 25. That is my last verse. Psalm 37, verse 25. I have been young, and now I am old. Bible said, before you were young, now uh, David said, I'm old. David Yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Bible says, Yet. Yet. You don't see any righteous person forsaken. No, it's the begging bread. Or his descendant begging bread. So today, I'm praying to you. Teach your way according to God's way. And take your heart. And God is going to bless you. May God bless you. May God add his plate onto this passage. And may God make you better. Amen.